Hi, do you want to make your first robot? Are you confused in choosing the right power supply for your robot? Hi, my name is Vishal Jagdishan and I am a robotics experiential specialist. So before like uh, two months ago, when I was working on a project of a robot along with my students, uh, it was an obstacle avoider robot where we used an Arduino uh, motors as well as an ultrasonic sensor. Right. Uh, so after we made sure we connected the circuit perfectly and also we made sure that uh, all the necessary materials are been put together and we made it to work. Right. The robot was working fine for at least two, one or two hours. Then after that, we sensed that after two to three hours, maybe proximum, uh, what happened was the robot was really not working more. Right. And we came to know that the battery supply which we were using to the robot was actually drained out within the two, three hours. So this was a problem when we were working with a robot, right? So I was thinking about how to choose the right battery power supply for the robot. And in this particular video, I'm going to share you on three steps of how you have to choose the right power supply for your robot so that it works as long as it is required by you, right? So before going into the three steps, right? So as I'm discussing now, I'm going to have a practical ex example of the obstacle avoiding robot where I'm going to use a robot, which as you have seen in the image, it's going to contain two motors, which is a DC geared motors. And also it's going to contain an Arduino, And also it's going to contain an ultrasonic sensor, right? So coming on to the three steps, right? The first step is that you need to list down the components and make a note of the of their current consumptions by each and every individual components. For example, in our experiment, we are going to use Arduino, which is going to have a current consumption of around 50 milliamperes. The second thing is a DC motor, right, which is going to be two DC motor. So one DC motor will consume around 300 milliamperes. So together it's going to come uh, have a current consumption of around 600 milliamperes and there's going to be an ultrasonic sensor which is going to have a consumption of around 15 milliamperes. So this is the first step. List down the components and make a note of the current consumption. The second most important step is that add the total value of the current consumption and also the time you want to uh, you want the robot to run. For example, the components whichever we are having is like Arduino, DC motors and ultrasonic sensor. So the Arduino is around 50 milliamperes plus the DC motor is around 300 plus 300 which is going to be 600 milliamperes and there is going to be an ultrasonic sensor which is going to be 15 milliamperes. So the total is going to be around 665 milliamperes and the time duration I want my robot to run let's say be like 5 hours. So once you have done these first two steps the third step is that you need to apply the formula and you need to find the value of the battery. So the formula is time in hours is equal to battery supply which is in milliampere hours divided by the total consumption which is in milliamperes. So if I just realter my equation what will be is like battery supply is equal to time into the total consumption. right? So now if I say the time is 5 hours and the total consumption is going to be 650 milliamperes, which when I multiply is going to be 3250 milliamperes, which is around like uh, going to be like, uh, what do you say, 3200 milliamp hours. So this is how you need to choose the battery supply. Now your battery supply should be in such a way that it can produce a current of around 3200 milliamperes. Fine. So in short, I'm going to recap. So in order to choose a perfect battery supply for your robot, the first step is to list down the components and make a note of their current consumption. Second, add the total value of the current consumption and also the time you want your robot to run. And third, apply the formula, which is formula. The formula is time is equal to battery supply divided by the total current consumption. Right. So if you find this video useful and if you like to learn to build more robots on your own, then type in the chat box or type in the comment box invite, then I will give you an access to my private VIP Facebook group where we are on a mission to help 100,000 people build their own robots. And kindly do not forget to share this video 
right until then we will see you in the next video bye and we will see you in the community bye